It's a phenomenal house. I've been in a few other governor's residences, and that stairway is just fantastic. I have not seen one that compares to it, really. It is a model of amazing ingenuity, I would say. It's so wide, and it's just beautiful. So it's really a nice to have not only to have a mansion that you can look at as the symbol of this is where the governor lives, but to have one that is so striking and so beautiful. And I think probably part of that is a result of the fact that the mansion was built as the governor's mansion. It was not built as a private home by someone else. It was built as the governor's mansion and was built with an eye to having rooms of a size where you could entertain large groups because the governor would be entertaining large groups and of course a very wide stairway. It was, it's just beautiful. We had um, a seven-year-old and eleven-year-old and then of course Martha did not slide down the banister. She was fifteen when we moved into the mansion. But um, the boys certainly did and they loved it. The children enjoyed it. Of course, um, they enjoyed having parties there. Birthday parties were a lot of fun, and they enjoyed inviting their friends because they had friends who had never been to the mansion, and so it was really nice to be able to share it with other people who had never had an opportunity to be at the mansion. And the kids, of course, would love to run around outside because it had such a nice big yard. And we, of course, played wiffle ball on the yard. Lots of times we'd be out there playing wiffle ball with some people, and passers-by would stop and talk, <laughs> or maybe even join the game <laughs> if they knew us, <laughs> so because we were right there on the street. So it was kind of fun, and I think the children remember those as fun times. They knew that it was not our home. They knew we lived there, but it was not our house. And they knew that people came by and visited, and we had the tours. Of course, the, sometimes the children would peek their heads over the stairs to try to watch what was going on downstairs during the tour days, or run around if it was a nice day. They'd be outside and watch the people coming in for the tours and, you know, laugh and joke. And they had a big time with that. They also. <laughs> They also, there are cameras, of course, for security reasons on the, on the grounds. And I think the boys particularly kept trying to sneak in or out of the house without being detected on the cameras. Well, obviously, I understand first, from first-hand experience that the mansion is very important to the people of Missouri. And it's a very important landmark and symbol for this state. And any house needs to have regular maintenance and upkeep and I hope that the Missouri mansion will not be accepted from that requirement. Um, I know that when we lived there we had little problems, little leaks. I remember keeping a plastic bag over my computer because I kept it on the porch and the porch there were some leaks. Well, they they put in new windows and, and fix the leaks. But for a while I had to keep a plastic garbage bag over my computer. I know that it's important to maintain a building. I haven't lived in the mansion for many years, so I don't know what condition it's in now. But if it hasn't been painted in almost 20 years, I'm sure it needs a paint job, because I know my house would. A paint job doesn't last that long. So I know that there is undoubtedly maintenance and repair that needs to be done.